what's up i just wanted to do a quick follow-up video to that choppy live stream i'm so sorry you guys it's like sometimes the days it's just it works sometimes the days it's just acting up so i apologize for that but i wanted to recap as to you know certain single t mom types and how they impact um men's perceptions of women um and just to recap, um, just so that you can have kind of a clear overview of my ideas in that video, um, I was saying that, you know, here's the thing. Like I said, women can raise good guys. They can't raise men. You're always going to need a man in a picture to sort of give boys guidance on how to be a good man. You know what I mean? But you have to be selective. You know, single moms have to be selective in the types of men that we bring into our children's lives for a variety of different reasons, right? And a lot of those reasons have to do with just overall safety and economical sense, you know, but also, you know, long-term, our own kids' mental health when it comes, and their ideas when it comes to, you know, mothers and fathers, you know what I mean? So. I talked about a couple of different single mom types that I felt like people need to be conscious of. If you are one of these women, I encourage you to make the proper adjustments because you could be making decisions that traumatize your child. So the first single mom I talked about or the first mom that I discussed, and she's not really, a, she makes herself a single mom because this mom is, I call her the Bye Bye Bonnie, where she abandons both children and mate. Um, to pursue her own personal ambitions or goals or, or desires and typically she will leave the child with either an abusive dad or a good dad and regardless of which scenario that child will have an ill um, idea of women they'll feel a sense of neglect and they won't take breakups very well at all um and then they also tend to be very untrusting and resentful of women um, that hurt them. Um, we have the needy Nina. Needy Nina takes care of men. She pays to retain men. Um, this woman typically will have a low-skilled labor job, but she will work her ass off because she's working her ass off to maintain her, her kids, and a man that is not as hard of a worker of her as her, if any. Um, this person doesn't typically collect child support uh, because she's trying to make things easy for the kid's father who has neglected her and the kids. Um, she rationalizes that, you know, he does not have the means to help her take care of the kids. And so she usually will find a man that will make her life easier. And these men typically move in with her within a month of knowing her. Um, they will gas her up, but typically they're those dudes that are okay with women taking care of them and therefore needy Ninas are perfect for their setup until they find some other woman that will do the same thing that is better. These women tend to be very insecure. I would say they're very, some of them are very overweight. And so they have this, this idea that if they cater to a man in a very, to me, inorganic way, that he will stay. Now, where these women cause trauma in their son's lives is because they are too trusting of men. They tend to be very conveniencing to men, but also they tend to take the convenience of that man being there at home um, as a sign to be able to let that man babysit their children. And that's where you open up a lot of possible abuse for a lot of young boys. And this abuse typically is not spoken of. And so the kid starts to act out. The dude gets nervous. He ends up leaving the mom. She blames the, blames the boy for the man leaving her. And typically the son builds resentment for his mother. So needy Ninas are um, those mothers who just do way too much for men who are not equitable, should not be around their children in the first place. And typically these men are suspect and... Um, possible abusers they do very little research on these men before they bring these men into their lives um, and typically these men are only there for them and they're hoping that they will play daddy with their kids right then we have the divorced Deanna who is you know she's a relatively attractive woman but she's scorned 
and she's upset because her whole livelihood has been she's typically maybe a kept woman too she's just she's distraught because her livelihood has been interrupted by the fact that her husband has found a much younger woman much attractive woman he has dissolved their year their years of marriage and she is unreconciled by this and because of this she takes her frustration out on the kids she talks about the dad who typically is really good to the kids love the kids just not in love with you anymore um and she takes that out on the kids right and so a lot of sons will start resenting these individuals because um she doesn't do anything but talk ill of their father she antagonizes their father and over time they look at her nagging as something that even takes their own dignity away because she's talking about their dad who's good to them so males typically start resenting their mothers um for putting their dads through that so i always tell single mothers if he don't want you fine but still co-parent with him foster that relationship with him and don't have a lot of drama in front of the kids because they remember it and they're going to point the finger at who's causing that drama and most of the times women are looking unreasonable in those situations right then we went to the money making monica right now men typically if you know they resent their mothers who are money making monica's because she's just as ambitious as dad they're both working they're both taking care of everything dad cheats on her she's intolerable of that and because she's intolerable of that she initiates the divorce right so typically these are women who are equitable enough within themselves to say i'm not going to tolerate your disrespect they're scorned by the fact that they were disrespected they demonstrate that in front of the kids um, a lot of times the mother's reaction to the father is a lot more impactful than the kids and so what happens is the sons especially if they're very very close to their dad will blame their mother for the divorce um especially if dad is not really wanting the divorce and is sorry for what he did um and the mother is adamant that she does not want to continue the relationship typically the the boy will kind of put some blame on the mom you know unfortunately so these are just some types of situations where women are single or become single and they can cause uh, maybe some resentment towards women and men um and this is only information based off of observations i i kind of masked over some of these names because these are single mother situations or situations that i know of personally and i think if people are more conscious about where they kind of fall in these situations they'll be able to kind of understand the root cause of why they feel certain ways about certain individuals specifically men you know there could be a root cause as to why you can't respect women why you resent women to the degree that you do and maybe it starts with mom or some other woman that was entrusted to care for you that neglected you or betrayed you or put you in a position where you could not be as masculine as a young boy could because you were defenseless so I am, you know, trying to understand people a lot better and I'm trying to be less reactive even though I have been going in on these beta boys for just being ridiculous. I told y'all, okay? I told y'all. 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 With that deep seated stuff, my bro. You know, it may require a little bit more work and you may want to align yourself with a woman that can talk you through those things, give you that comfort, quiet some of those storms inside your head. So I hope everyone enjoyed the previous video. Sorry for the choppiness. That's why I'm doing this one. It's a lot more cleaner. So hopefully you'll get the point and the ideas that I'm trying to make. And feel free, comment and let me know what you think. Do you know some single mothers like this? Are you a brother that has been impacted by a single mother like this? You might need to talk things out with somebody that's looking to understand you. Have a good evening. Bye.